Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and I am back with my brain teaser book after I don't know it's been like a long time. Yes. Um it's been 3 months of crazy holidays for us. I think I have gone completely crazy. I think I was already crazy now I'm 2.0 crazy. There definitely. I think I'm losing all my hair. My hair is turning all silver and gray. I have um uh, puffy eyes all the time. I got my hair shot which looks terrible on me right now and I don't know when was the last time I actually did my exercise for like an hour or so but never and if you want to see something else it, this is Vivan I told him to sit down properly but he's just not sitting down he just no, crawled because, here no because I wanted pani you want to drink water okay fine okay guys I'm just going to go quickly and show you the book uh, Vivan is on time out because he wasn't listening for something so he's going to be very very quiet Okay so the brain teaser book is right here and let me open up and show you the first activity. Uh so here what I have done is I have used the tidbits of paper that I had extra um from my art supplies and I have actually done a separate video on how you can use at as color boards or as pattern boards uh for your kids and I will surely link up that video in the description box below. So here what I have done here uh I made a grid here. and in the grid i have pasted um uh, different designs at different places and the same things i have done here i have um, made three rows uh columns and then um i have pasted all the designs now what vivan has to do he needs to identify that which one like if this is the design where is it here and then he needs to find the number and he needs to write like this one is um here so it's f and 5 so he needs to write f5 here Okay in the same way there are some 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 of them are like at double places or at triple places he needs to figure that out and he needs to write it here so that's our uh, activity number 1 our activity number 2 is absolutely fun i think it's absolutely new i haven't done it before any time with him uh because bas basically we travel a lot and i thought it's a great way to um uh, just like Take a step back and see where what all we have done and where all we have gone. Vivan, you were told to like sit down at one I'm, place. I'm no, you cannot see. You have to like sit down and not talk at all. Do you get that? Okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay, so uh, there are a lot of questions here, and the answers are all right here. Okay, sometimes I am called the Big Apple. Okay, he needs to figure it out. What's called the Big Apple? And your options are Indonesia, Canada, Washington DC, Dubai, Macau, Delhi, Singapore, Florida, New York. Jaipur Hong Kong so all my questions are um based on the things and the stuff that he has seen and he has gone and then he needs to figure out the answer so i have like uh stands as the tallest building in the world first disneyland trip one of the main islands is sumatra i have a maple leaf on my flag the night trip to india gate uh saw the show house of so uh, yeah saw the show house of uh dancing water okay i don't know what was that okay also called the pink city so yes we have i have a lot of questions and um, a pretty dirty looking uh, image here which is trying to depict the buildings but yeah i think the activity is going to be fun okay so we are going pretty crazy with our math stuff and uh, we are doing a lot of timer so this is like a 60 minute thing a 60 second thing in 60 seconds he needs to finish this and then another 60 seconds he needs to finish this side uh if he's going to take a lot of time i'm going to see how how many will is he able to finish in 60 seconds he needs to make top 10 here and he needs to make a total of 20 here and that's what we have to do you know guys it's actually fun to time them and to give them a timer or if you have alexa or google and you tell them to timer it's it's really fun because you can keep doing it again and again till the time you actually get into the time and it it tells them to actually tally evaluate the timer that they did last time so it is um i think the timer is just like an added uh, super advantage okay so numbers up uh, mind you they will trick you okay so these are all skip counting at uh, backward frontwards so it's going to be super crazy uh you can see it's 20 40 60 80 what's going to come in the next three then you have 10 15 20 what's going to come here then 1 3 5 7 9 1 11 21 31 so two activities which is with maths but super confusing okay so we have uh, another one here which is uh, you have i have made some random shapes here and this is inspired by my grolier book uh 
and what he has to do he needs to figure out how many squares are here and he needs to find the right answer here and then he needs to uh, mark it so there are triangle squares um, just the two the two shapes right now in this one and if you haven't done this activity you can try and uh, make smaller designs you can make smaller squares sorry and then uh, the the ch it it can uh, the child will be able to figure it out with a little help okay uh, going forward with the similar activity i have a triangle rectangle and a square and with these six so this was actually very easy for vivan but i just thought as a brain teaser for the viewers to check like what all if you if you think this is too overwhelming you can start with this and uh, if your child is familiar with the triangle shape or the square shape then i think that's a great activity if you want to get rid of the rectangle you can definitely do that so uh, again here you have to see how many triangles are there or how many rectangles then you find the right answer and you mark it here okay so this is like pretty cool this is again a coding game and uh, this is like a house and there are different uh it's actually a car or a transport museum and there are different floors and there, there are different uh, a uh, vehicles that are there in every um uh circle that i've depicted and all of them are right here okay and now if you see here you have to see which one of them are right here okay once you figure it out which one stays here you have to use this as a code find the picture here and then you have to code it so let's find who's going to stay here mm hmm this one okay this one we need to find is he here somewhere he's right here so we he has to make these two dots right here in front of them so the first step is to identify who's there across here the second step is find the picture here the third step is you have to put this code right in front of them so it's a three step coding activity and i think it's it's really fun if it's too much for your child you can make it easy you can just let them identify it so it's going to be super easy then okay now you have colorful triangles so with the help of a scale he needs to make as many triangles as he can and i think there are 15 of them because i was trying to count but there are like endless possibilities for him to make triangle if you see he can make a triangle here but every triangle needs to be a different color so i'm going to uh, let him use my sharpie pens the 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 thin ones so that they come out really beautiful and uh, i think this is going to be a super cute activity too then because we're hitting kindergarten and going to school a little uh, mashup about just him like i'm five years old i have how many fingers toes i have dashed letters in my name i smell with my i listen with my i clap with my i think it's easy but uh, i think it's, it's always fine to have like a little easy activity too okay we we really enjoy doing this so um, i thought of adding it one more time here so he needs to exactly replicate the picture on the other side i did the left he needs to do the right and he needs to do the right with the blue pen okay because this is the girl's side he needs to make the boy side and that's going to be with the blue okay so we are learning place value and what i've done i have uh, done a number up to 100 so he needs to put an x on the hundreds place he needs to put a slash at the tens place and he needs to circle the ones place so there are three instructions that he needs to do for all these numbers so the x he needs to dash and he needs to circle so that's what he needs to do everywhere and the last activity is he needs to just decode the uh, numbers versus the code here so it's l and o he needs to find where is l and o l is 44 and o is 93 he needs to write 44 and 93 here then he needs to like correspondingly find all the other numbers from here and that is going to be the last activity that's it guys so this was the activity for brain teaser i think it's a cool one uh as you see the paper just went away he was sitting quietly and it's come back okay perfect okay guys so if you have any questions and if you like the activity please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and he's all waiting and set to do the brain teaser activity okay guys see you next time yeah, Vivani, bye you want to say bye 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 see you guys